What's going on guys, Scar here, and in today's video, I want to do something a little different and tell you why I think the Onryo and Dead by Daylight deserves a rework, which she is getting according to the Dead by Daylight 2024 roadmap, which is in January, so later in January, uh, basically this month. Also, Happy New Year everyone, hope you are enjoying New Year's Eve or New Year's whenever you're seeing this, but... Basically, I want to tell you why I think her base kit is super busted and why I think you should currently use her now before her rework comes into play later in January. So let me give you my thoughts on to why I think Sadako, or the Onryo, deserves a rework. First off, there's no real counter to her for survivors, and really, it's really easy for her to condemn survivors late or early in the game. Basically, if you guys don't know what condemn means, basically her one of her abilities is after hitting survivors and teleporting the TVs a ton, they eventually become condemned as long as the survivors are not holding a tape. So they have to hold on to tapes in order to not be condemned. If they don't, they will be condemned. You can hit them, kill them, and mori them quickly. Uh, this could be early in the game, so in this gameplay, I didn't actually do that. I just decided to play normally. And I'm using two hex perks on my build, and by the way, you actually don't even really need to run builds right now as Onryo. You could literally do this with no perks, no add-ons, just plain on simple, but I just did this just so I can make the game last longer. And I'll tell you why I added hex perks, because they'll also be distracted doing hexes rather than doing gens, maybe healing, or anything like that. And it's an entire slowdown build, like Sloppy Butcher as well, and Deadlock. Basically slowing down everything for survivors and making it impossible, applying as much pressure as we can onto them. So they think there's like no chance for them to even escape with, even if no perks, like there's almost zero chance you will escape as long as you know how to use Onryo to the best of your ability and how to use our TVs and how to make sure survivors don't usually put in tapes in the TVs like during the match. And the only real way to play against Onryo is to take a tape during the beginning of a match and put it in a TV when it first turns on during one. So apparently before, Condemn actually used to work in a way where it would only apply to people when they were near TVs, but now it applies map-wide to any survivor who aren't holding tapes. So that makes it very difficult for survivors to actually you know, like, counter Sadako and her ability to condemn survivors. And it can happen really early in the game. Like I said, you can literally just spam the TVs and also just go after survivors, which kind of what I did, but what I do is I just hit a survivor, and then I teleport to a TV, try to go back, and if there is someone who's condemned, I just go after them first so I can just, you know, mori them quickly, and then just have the rest of the survivors to myself. It makes it very easy for any on rail player but, you know, it makes it super OP for her and never the survivors. So, unless you are absolutely nerd knowledge with Onryo, you're likely not going to escape and you might all be worried by the end of a match with her. So, if you are currently going against an Onryo, just know that you might be fucked. But also, just try your best and see if you do make it out still, maybe through Hatch or something. But, yeah. <laughs> And like I said, you really don't need any skill as the Onryo. You could literally just play her blindfolded and probably somehow still win with her. Even if you're still playing normally and just trying to hook survivors, you'll still probably end up winning. Like, I could have probably gotten all these survivors down easily at the beginning of the match, but I wanted to play in the condemn play style and just kind of teleport between TVs, hit a survivor, teleport again, go hit another survivor, and just keep repeating the process. Make sure they aren't putting tapes in the TVs and making sure they all are all eventually becoming condemned and making it impossible to actually do anything in a match. So, on the survivor side, it's, this is, like, very difficult to go up against, and I don't see how you could anyway. Like, I don't even know how you could tolerate it in any way. Like, if an on is talking shit, just know that, like, they're a bitch. But, to be honest, I don't see a lot of people actually abusing her base kit right now. I might be the only one. Maybe there's some other ones, but, like, if you want to, like, if you really want to, just, you know put perks, no perks, no add-ons or whatever. Just play as Onryo until she gets that rework. I'm not sure when the update is coming. I just know from the roadmap that it's coming in January. So, be ready for that if you are an Onryo main and like you like her current state cuz I don't know how much she's going to be nerfed in this rework or how much she's going to be changed or whatever. So, <clears throat> we'll see how that goes, but otherwise if you do want to go try and play her, go ahead. I am <laughs> cuz the night is down. And it's 
per, to be honest, I'm actually kind of a night main. I know how to use them, and it sucks that him and Nowhere to Hide are both, like, kill switched. So, I used to run, like, Nowhere to Hide on almost every single build that had to do with, like, gens. Now, it's, like, most of the killers, so, like, I have to try other builds, which is fun still, but, like, that perk is so OP. And it sucks also, because Nowhere to Hide had something to do with Onryo becoming invisible. Like, there was a bug with that. Like, she's probably one of the most buggy, reworked killers that I've ever seen throughout. And I just started playing, like, this year. I started playing, like, in April or May, and I only saw a few of them. I went against a few, and I don't think I've ever gone, like, against one who, like, played the condemned play style. Maybe I have, like, once, but, like, still, like, it, I don't know how she will be after the rework, like, I don't know if she'll be fun, I don't know if she'll suck, I don't know if she'll just be boring, like, most of the other killers, but it all depends on the feedback that behavior gets for the Onryo or any other killer, so, <laughs> unfortunately, and it sucks because the comments from the tweets where they said that the knight was disabled, they said, good, just don't bring him back, which sucked too, but, uh, I don't really care. I hate the Skull Merchant, but the Knight is, you know, I don't know. He's my favorite. It's the one I started with. He came out the time I started playing, so I don't really have hate towards him at all. Uh, he's, I think he's a decent killer, and I like him, so, yeah. But, I'll end the video here. Uh, actually, I'll keep the gameplay up so you guys can see the rest of the game. I eventually just condemn everyone. It's pretty easy, self-explanatory. Go ahead and play her currently before the rework happens. Just, uh... You know, you can run her with anything. Yeah, like, if you, like, just buy her, just start playing her. Don't, like, don't even level her up. Just play her. Uh, try to abuse her base kit and everything. And, uh, you know, have fun. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you guys have a happy new year. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.